Hello and welcome to another Squall's product reviews. Today we are reviewing da, 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 peanut butter chocolate blasted shreds. They're new. That's General Mills. So you can see General Mills on there. Whole grain is the first ingredient. Important. Note important. Shredded sweetened whole grain wheat cereal. And it's in large to show detail. It's very large on the box. And it's net weight 1 pound 7.2 ounces. 23.2 which is 23.2 ounces. And it's 657 grams. Alright, on the side, whole grain's first ingredient. They say, whoa, uh, we did it. That's, that's great. You advertise for your own cereal on your own box. Alright, so, nutrition facts. Serving size is about two-thirds of a cup. 55 grams. You all know that's not my serving size. My serving size is the whole box. Servings per container about 12. My servings per container is 1. Calories... 230. It also says with percent a uh, half cup of skim milk, but we won't get into that. Because if you're drinking it with skim milk, you're drinking it wrong. Calories from fat. Uh, calories 230. Calories from fat 50. Total fat 5 grams, 8% of the daily value. With an asterisk. Uh, the asterisk is about okay, it's skim milk. Alright. Saturated fat is 1 gram, 5% of the daily value. No trans fat, 1.5 grams of polyunsaturated fat, 2.5 grams of monounsaturated fat. No cholesterol, 45 milligrams of sodium, 2% of the daily value. 210 milligrams of potassium, 6% of the daily value. 41 carbs, 41 carbs. So, if you're a diabetic, you probably might want to stay away from this. It's 14% of the daily value. So, right there, eating a serving size of this is like... Gonna almost kill you. <laughs> Dietary fiber, 7 grams, 26% of the daily value. Okay, so we can take those 7 grams and minus that from the total carbohydrates. So it's actually 41 minus 7, 34? Yeah, 34, 34 grams. So it's not that bad, but it's still also not that good. 12 grams of sugar and other carbs, 22 grams. Six grams of protein. So at least you're getting a little bit of protein in there. Not as much as a nut or an actual meat, but still a little bit. All right, no vitamin A or C, no calcium, but 6% of iron, and ingredients, ingredients like what it says on the first, on the front of the box. Whole grain wheat is the first ingredient. Second ingredient, sugar. Sugar, and not high fructose corn syrup sugar, are not corn syrup sugar, but just regular sugar. Peanut butter. So peanut butter, we already got the allergy there. And peanut butter contains peanuts, sugar. So we got double the sugar, monoglycerides, peanut oil, salt, molasses, and cornstarch. So along with the sodium, we got more salt included. It also contains more ingredients, canola oil, cocoa, and BHT and vitamin E vitamin E is mixed tocopherols are added to preserve freshness. So as I said before, the peanut is an allergy and also contains wheat if you have a wheat allergen. Is wheat gluten? Maybe? Let me know in the comments down below. And distributed by General Mills out of Minnesota. 
Partially produced with genetic engineering. Partially produced. So it's got some GMO ingredients in here. And if you want to take a look at the nutrition facts yourself to make sure I'm telling the truth, being honest. Okay, so we look at the top of the box. It's already been opened. I don't know why it was open. But it was probably me that opened it. And the why is probably because I wanted to try it. Except question mark because the bag is still sealed. Why would I have opened the box of cereal without opening the bag? That that doesn't make sense. That that's some deepest floor right there for you. All right, so all right, it loses a negative point because the bag is hard to open. If you make the bag hard to open, you're not good. Okay, so it opens okay. All right, that that that's fine. This. Okay, so the reason it was hard to open is because it's a very, the bag is of high quality. But there are high quality bags that are easy to open. So, all right. Oh, it smells so good. It smells so good. Ow. Oh. All right, so here we have one of the little pieces. It looks kind of like a Cinnamon Toast Crunch piece, except it's not. All right, so first bite. I can taste the peanut butter. The chocolate is a subtle chocolate, which is something you want out of your chocolate. You don't want it to override the taste of anything else in the product itself. All right, so here's a recommendation. Two solid thumbs up. Squall highly recommends this, but only if you don't have a peanut allergy or if you don't have a weed allergy. He recommends it highly if you like peanut butter and chocolate together, such as those people who like Reese, Reese cups. Is that peanut butter or chocolate? Okay, I've got verification. Verification that Reese's Cups are peanut butter and chocolate. Snickers, are Snickers peanut butter and chocolate? No, they're not. Twix? Is Twix peanut butter and chocolate? No? Yes, peanut butter, peanut butter Twix are. 
Peanut butter what? Peanut butter Twix R. Oh, peanut butter Twix R, okay. All right, so I have verification there's peanut butter Twix, but peanut not Twix. regular Twix themselves. But anyway, if you guys got my review, let me know in the comments below what you think. If you tried the cereal, if you like it, if you dislike it. And as always, don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the bell, comment down below if you what you think about the video or my fedora or the or the pipe and as always thank you for watching thank you for listening take care of yourselves and have a good day